Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the worst life in the world. And it's all mine. Ain't she a beauty? Met zes Paul Schulz en Co. Werkzeugen Machinefabriek Leipzig Macau. I don't think this is the uh, the maker of the lathe. It's probably a retailer. It won't start unless you help it along. At first I thought uh, the capacitor was uh, kaput. But uh, when I remove the belt, the motor starts just fine. So I guess it doesn't have that much torque because it can't get this thing going on its own. When you uh, put it in the higher gears, I can't even get it uh, to run. No go. I don't think this setup is original because with that 1000 RPM motor the, uh, the spindle would run almost I guess over 2000 RPM which is a bit high for a, an old girl like this doesn't run too bad takes forever to stop there's the motor tag I can't read it because I'm filming this upside down so I guess I'll have to find out how to flip it in uh, the lowest gear It sometimes starts depending on the position of the spindle. Three hundred five RPM, and that's the lowest setting. I bought this wonderful machine because I need a motor for another lathe that I'm uh, fixing up and I thought with the uh, the nice uh, step pulley this would be ideal it's only a half horse but it should be enough it, it can run on a three phase so I'm using it with a VFD to change the uh, to change the belt or to change the speed you use this lever to uh, loosen the belt it just lifts up the motor and you can select another groove on the pulley and with a uh, long pulley like this I don't think it's a it's a problem if the belt doesn't line up exactly so that'll give you some more speeds It's a nice looking retro starter switch. There she goes. Here's the sloppy slides. And they work backwards. There's the tailstock. It's also a thing of beauty, but at least it runs in the right direction when you turn the handle. It's pretty loose. You can tighten it down with this thing 
it clamps down the uh, yeah the barrel. <laughs> if you loosen it up, there's a lot of play. Also, someone um, has been working on this because uh, it's uh, already ejecting the uh, chuck is a pretty sad looking thing the jars are well they've been hit a few times the uh, they're pretty uh, warm nice and wobbly alright I'm gonna take off the motor remove this panel to save the uh, cone pulley it might be handy um, I'm also gonna save the slides and I'll try fitting the legs on the lathe that I'm uh, fixing up but the rest is gonna go to the scrapyard um, I would like to know who made this when it was made, model name things like that so if you know anything please put it in the comments alright that's it for me have a good day.